What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Horizon. Let's get straight into it. I am absolutely convinced that men don't actually want relationships. Like, men want their lives as is. They want to go about their day exactly as it is, do whatever they would normally do, and just want somebody there when it's convenient for them yeah. or, you know, for the things they want to do. Yeah, why would we want the headache? I'm a single woman from USA, divorced, can't find true love in Texas. What city has real men who like me? Real men. <laughs> I'm 50 years old, single, divorce. I want to find a real man. Will you be my friend? Honey, it's a wrap. She's a runner. She's a track star. Got more mileage than a NASCAR rally car. What are you talking about? Stop it. Stop. It's You're done. I need a man. <laughs> it's a little late for that. Yep. I need a man. You had your shot and you blew it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You had all of your younger years where men were giving you attention. They were willing to court you. They were willing to spend money on you. And now that it looks like you're a broke bus driver, now you want a man? It doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to call my daddy today. With the and fake ask eyelashes. Him. She's got the fake eyelash filter on. That's rich. I haven't seen that one. To help me with some money to pay my bills. Grown woman. And it was funny because <laughs> Laugh it off. he knew what I wanted just by the tone of my voice. So he starts messing with me and pretty much starts telling me about all his bills. <laughs> Because he knew I was calling to ask for some money to pay my bills. He was like, oh, sound, sounding like me, pitiful. Oh, well, all this money I done put out this month, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Stop playing with me. You already know why I'm calling. You already know what I want. Stop playing with me. I bet you stop playing with him and actually go out there and make, make your own money. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like, what are you talking about? Stop playing with me. What are you talking about? You're a grown woman still calling your dad, who's probably gray-headed from the top down. Every, every, bit of, every bit of hair on this man is probably gray and petrified, scared white, and you're still asking him for money. This is why I say women grow old, they never grow up. Anyway, he made me beg for it, y'all. As you should. You're a grown yep. woman. He made me beg for it. You got no other choice? I would much rather be begging a man for it. <laughs> well, you were begging a man. It was just your daddy. You still got to still gotta find a man. And, and what's so funny, she thinks this is funny. She thinks this is hilarious. This is a grown woman laughing at her, her own broke tendencies. This is crazy to me. <laughs> Us as men would never begging laugh at him this. for it. <laughs> Yeah, I could pay my own bills, but I want him to do it. Stupid. That didn't age well. But anyway, I need a man so I don't have to call my daddy to pay my bills. So sad, man. My man I already have it handled. Ain't nobody calling you. You old. You are old. You're talking about somebody call you. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> Who's calling her? Let me know, guys. One of you guys interested? <laughs> I know nobody wants to speak up about this, but I guess I'll be the one to do it. Uh oh, here we there go. There is a serious shortage of attractive, eligible, mentally stable, emotionally available men. We need to get a search party together, figure out what has happened, where have they gone, and what do we do about this? Honey, you don't qualify. Shots fired! Shots fired! So you just don't qualify for those kind of guys. You're mid at best. You look like Sid from Ice Age. Shots fired! Shots fired! What are you talking about? 
because it's a problem. Look, I have said this before and I will say it again. There is no shortage of good men. Thanks. It is simply that you don't see the men that are good men in your life as dateable. But they're probably good friends. Like, they're probably in your friend zone. And then for the good men that aren't in your life, it is because they're not looking to date. Mm -hmm. They probably spent far too long in a relationship that took advantage of their goodness. Those men are either working, they're either at home, or they're just hanging out with friends or doing some sort of hobby in seclusion. Thanks. So if you really do want a good man, you better look in your friend zone or do all that you can to put out positive energy about men because they will see you and they might take a chance on you then. Women, women are the only prize. Men are yes, she too. is. Women are the... We have intrinsic value. We are the prize. Like, what? What? Men go to work for women. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Let me know in the comments. Do you think that women are the prize? Because to me, a prize insinuates value. And when you're born with your value, it's not valuable because you're born with it. You didn't have to work for it. Something that's valuable has to be earned, right? And men, men earn their value and women are given theirs. So a prize in that regard would be something that is worth something, which means you have to work for it to be worth something. It's not something you're given. So men are the prize. Women can be a catch, but I think men are the prize. Yeah, why do you go to work? To I pay to... bills for your woman? No, for myself. <laughs> I caught her talking to other men, and she won't get out of my car. Now she's crying. So I caught her talking to other dudes. Oh, wow. That must big, be back, big back, God, big must back. Big back, big back. Oh, uh, man. What were their names again? I love how you said they were just your friends, and you were sitting in the mass pictures. Get the fuck out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> Just friend and sending booty pics? <laughs> Brutal. It's a perfect example of why when she says that these dudes are just her friend, Never. she is full of shit. Yes. Let me tell you what she means when she says he's just a friend. It means one, he's the backup plan if something happens. True. Number two, it means that they have already hooked up and she's keeping him again on the back burner so mm -hmm. her body count doesn't go up if the relationship ends. The other thing that it can mean is that she basically chose you as her second choice. So if that dude becomes available, she's gonna dump your ass. And lastly, what it also means is that they haven't hooked up yet. He still wants to hook up. She's kind of interested in it because she's not really interested in you and you're basically just the placeholder. Stop letting these women tell you that these men are just friends, that there is literally no such thing. And for every single person that comes in my comments saying, oh, it's insecurity it's insecurity no not with snapchat nowadays not with all these hidden messages that you can hide on facebook Preach. you need to be cautious be aware stop being naive and not let these women play you and let preach what are you doing back there what are you doing are you having a good time go to your place look you go to your place go He's just wallering back there. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think men and women can be just friends? I'm going to keep it a buck. Men and women cannot be friends. Men, our biological instinctual nature is we do not want to be friends with these women. We want to get to know them in another way. Not a friendly way. <laughs> now, women can put guys in the friend zone, yeah. But men are always thinking about the potential of either hooking up or of a relationship. I don't think men and women can be just friends. And if your girl is naive enough to think that these guys are just being her friend, bro, she's Delulu. These are on deck dudes. These are guys just waiting for their chance as soon as she's emotionally available enough or emotionally vulnerable enough because you guys are tiffing or fighting. They're gonna jump on the chance and jump her bones and try to hop in the sheets. It's as simple as that. Men and women cannot be friends. Point blank period. I don't think they can be friends at all. And if you're in a relationship with a girl and she has straight guy friends, bro, cut and run, cause she's a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. But let me know in the comments, do you think men, men and women can be just friends? Personally, I think there's no way. Lastly, let's just remember that she's only crying because she got caught. Facts. Not only is that abusive and manipulative, but what it does is it turns the good men bad. So congratulations on making yet another good man turn bad, where women have no accountability for their actions like this. But what it also does is it ruins it for the rest of the women that are out here actually crying and getting their feelings hurt because men can't decipher the difference between being manipulated and real tears. Okay, bye.
Man, I don't shout know out when they're finally girl. going to realize that more and more men are single because they want to be single. Facts. Because they've built up their lives. They like their day-to-day -day routine. They buy what they want and can afford. They spend time on whatever hobby they enjoy. But what they don't want is making the mistake of sacrificing those things for something less than what they already have. And I get it. We've heard that women are raising their standards. But ladies, men are too. Where are the men who would wake up just so they could be the man who wakes up next to you? Well, I'm sorry to have to break it to you, <laughs> but those men, they've already woken up. I love this guy. And they've left. Because you see, men have now realized there's no real benefit to waking up next to you. We've seen that while you demand, demand, demand things from us, you offer little to nothing in return. At least not anything we can't already get without involving ourselves in a relationship with you. And on top of that, for decades now... Well, most of the time, girls these days, they'll give you everything that you would typically get in a relationship just in a situationship. I can hit it. You can cook. You can clean. You can get all that, and I ain't got to commit to you. Uh, yeah. What do I look like? Stupid. I'm going to do that. She didn't want us. Y'all told us she didn't need us. We heard you. And now we're off making a better life for ourselves. One that doesn't involve you. Would we like to have a great relationship? Sure, who wouldn't? But men have finally figured out that the risk simply isn't worth the reward anymore. And now that you guys are figured out that we figured it out, well, now you're wondering, where did all the men go? And then there's this. Like, where are the men who would walk 500 miles? And I would walk 500 <laughs> miles. I, you think, know what? I think we saw this rant the other day. This dude's great, bro. He's so good. He's so good. Hey. A uh, man cancels wedding after fiance comments under post saying she would cheat for a hundred grand. Whoa. Go outside and talk. Okay, why Come you on. sounding like that? Come on. <laughs> why are you coming to me like that? What is going on? How dare you put that on Instagram? Oh, that's the comment under a post in the- Whoa. Bro, you gotta cut that. Agree with cheating on your husband for a hundred thousand dollars? I care about you in this relationship. How you care about me and you coming up to my job and I can lose my job? Right? But you up here with this stupid foolishness. Stupid foolishness now. Yes, it is. So you would cheat on your husband for $100,000. Make it make sense. Would you do it? Heck no, because I love you and only Boy, you. it don't matter. It's not that big of a deal. You should not be coming to my job. It's not no big deal. <laughs> this is Y'all see her. This is some bull crap right here. Y'all see him. Y'all see him. This is ridiculous. You ain't got no money. You don't have no job. You don't have a hundred thousand dollars. So what does that mean? <laughs> this time that you're spending up here, you should be somewhere trying to find a job and be a man. You're about to get married. Supposedly, my job. I can lose my job. My boss could hear us about a post, a comment. Well, you Are you should never like the post. You should never comment on the post. You shouldn't have the time to even see the comment. I love it. I love the gaslighting. You shouldn't even have the time to go read the post. I mean, if he doesn't have a job, shame on him. He needs a job. Using that time to get a job. Well, if you're working so much, you shouldn't have time to be posting and liking posts. It don't matter, William. You're up here at my job and I can lose it. I don't care about this job. I don't care about your post. I don't care about none of that. I care about you. You don't need to be caring about me because there ain't going to be no me because of this. This is ridiculous. Well, apparently not because you love the money more than you love your own future husband. You need to man up and make some more money, okay? And you wouldn't have to worry about what I post. You don't love me because I ain't got the big pockets like this you want. You want a millionaire. You're coming to my job about this? Are yes. you serious? Yes. You need to grow up. That's what you need to do. You need to grow up. You need to be a man. Well, you okay? need to learn that everything ain't for social media, including our personal lives. Aren't you on social media? I'm deleting it today. You deleted it. <laughs> This has got to be satire because he's, re he's recording it. <laughs> he's all on social media recording it. <laughs> uh, this whole thing is a mess. Oh, you yes. might need to believe this relationship probably needs to be. It yeah, probably do since I ain't got enough money for you. Yeah. I'm broke. Yeah. You probably do need to. You need to get a job. That's, I'm at work. Is that what it is? You're trying to embarrass me? trying to make me lose my job? If I was you don't have no money? I would have choked. I would have went out for you and there if I wanted to really embarrass you. You need to go home. You need to go find a job. That's what you need to do. We're supposed to be getting married and you sitting here acting like this over posts. This is ridiculous. You need to, you need to go find a job. Maybe get a second job, get a third job. 
So you won't be feeling a certain type Look. of way about a stupid post. Look, I ain't that broke. Mary, I ain't that broke. I don't need three jobs. I mean, right? you gotta be broke if you're on social media worrying about what I'm posting. Something, something silly. Because you like was that. wrong for that. You tripping? How was, how was I wrong for that? We supposed to be connected. We supposed to be together. Why would you? Okay, post okay. That I think she is wrong for that. I think she should take accountability because I mean. Money isn't everything, and hopefully she has an emotional bond with this man, especially if she's looking at the potential of him being a husband. Why would you marry him if you don't see him in every facet of, of you know, every way that you want to be with this guy, like money included, his status, you know, who he is as a person, his personality. It's just funny to me that now that she's being called out, she's like, well, it's not even a big deal. I mean, it, I, I think it's kind of a big deal. If I saw Cass doing that, I'd probably, I'd probably freak out. But luckily, Cass isn't on social media. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Would you get mad if your girl said she would cheat on you for 100 grand? Personally, I would, because I'm like... <laughs> Our love should be priceless in that regard. You shouldn't be willing to go out and just cheat for a hundred grand. This, this is kind of ridiculous. Together, but in a minute we're not going to be together. So Probably not, because you're talking you crazy. You don't have enough money to man up. That's oh, wow. Well, I don't got no money to man up. You hit yeah, it. You don't. Oh, you don't. Lord. Well, you don't, don't have enough, uh, enough faithfulness to woman up. Shots fired! Shots fired! You're supposed to be feminine, inspirational, beautiful. You're supposed to be loyal. Uh, you're not holding up your end of the bargain. It's not that serious. <laughs> I, I got a good heart. Okay. That's all that matters. I got a good heart. A good heart don't pay bills. Yeah, I'm personally, yeah, bro, leave her. She's a runner, she's a track star. I wouldn't even be coming close to marrying a woman like that. That is absolutely unreal. Man, that's wild to me. But this is why men are going their own way. This is why men have given up on the traditional style of relationships because they've seen that the water is muddy that these women are delusional. Their standards are so high, but the thing is, they do not offer anything in return. The whole flation is crazy. <laughs> the whole flation is wild. Our grandpas were probably like, back in my day, all I had to do was go find a good woman. And pretty much all the women were good, so it wasn't too hard. Nowadays, bro, you know how hard it is to find a good woman? It's one in a scrillion, one in a bergillion. Bro, that's why, that's why we have passport bros. Getting passports, going to other countries, and, and picking up these women straight up from villages, bringing them over here because they're fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. They don't have children outside of us. They're willing to get on a man's page. They're submissive. They'll listen to us. They'll follow our lead. Because the thing is, a lot of women go out there, they want a man that's taller than them. They want a man that makes more money than them. They want a man that's more confident than them, more competent than them. But then they don't want to submit to this man? Huh? That makes no sense. You're literally describing a superior. There's a hierarchy, right? Superior, inferior. If you want a guy that's better than you in almost every regard, financially, emotionally, and physically, then why wouldn't you submit to this man? It makes no sense. But then I think it's social media, but I also think it's a lot of it's like the daytime TV shows, right? These women can go watch The View with Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg and all these other Delulu old 304s where they listen to this stuff. And they're like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Let's be independent. Yeah. Feminism is expensive, and you're independent from what? You're independent from a man, which means you're not dependent upon him. But then when you get older, just like this bus driver lady that we just watched, now she's got to call her, her, her father, who's a grandfather now, probably got white hair, asking him to pay her bills. What a sad existence. What a sad existence. Can you imagine being a grown man and calling your mom or your your grandmother aged mom being like, Mom, can you help me pay some bills? I don't have any money. Because me, me. Here, here, here's the thing. As men, we understand that no one is coming to save us. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with that? Do you agree that as men, we understand that no one's coming to save us? Because this is this is the philosophy I have. No one's coming to save me. I don't expect anything from everyone, from anyone. I don't expect a single thing. You know what I expect? I expect to get results from the effort that I put in because effort responds to our results respond to effort. That's exactly why. If I don't put in the work, I'm not going to reap the rewards. Therefore, I know it's just me, and I know one of, one of these days I'm going to want to retire, so I'm going to need to have enough money, so I'm going to invest wisely, I'm going to buy assets and not liabilities, and I'm going to work as hard as I can to build the life that I want to have in my later years. This is why I've been posting on YouTube every day since November. I've been posting on Instagram for three years straight. I knew I wanted to do this social media thing, so I dug my heels in and I made it happen. 
from starting like i don't know if you guys know this i don't know if a lot of you guys haven't followed me this long but like i literally started posting on youtube on november 15th of 2023 now it's like we're in august we're in august now it's been like nine months maybe even 10 months of just straight posting every single day a 20 minute video a lot of people don't have that dedication where they're like i'm gonna do something every day for an entire year but if you do that i promise you can turn your life around if there's something that you want to do there's a goal that you have do it every day for a year and watch things happen it's not magic it's consistency and hard work and work ethic it's it's all it is and then you'll start to build those habits and then that success will compound i promise you dude why use me as a testament of it use me hope you guys enjoy i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode loki did you have fun today I'm going to assume uh, that little paw, little flick was a yes. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go get the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. It's right there in the description of the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.